It's the 17th of May, our national day in Norway. And we are starting here at Storfosna outside of Trondheim. Absolutely beautiful place. When I kayaked in here, I was thinking like, hmm, Nor Nor Norway's answer to the beach. Because uh, it doesn't look like much when you come from the outside. As soon as you get into the narrow opening, you just see sand, 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 sand. It's a beautiful day on the 17th of May. Okay, so the mark you see in front of here is us here. It's the nautical Torra mark. Uh, it's its only kind in Norway and it's supposed to say that you are halfway. Uh, there are different opinions about if it's halfway of Norway or halfway between Bergen and uh, Lofoten. So if this is halfway, I am two days over my schedule and that is really really good.
kayaker. Ah, kayaker, and then we go to the on this island, saying that uh, there will be uh, treasure there. So I'm curious what he has left on my way there now. Things should be around here. Back at uh, where I put the kayak. Yeah. We'll go back. Okay, so in the treasure chest we have a lot of amber beer, ale. Oh. I haven't had a beer in a month. And a snack box. And a nice little note here from my guy Tore and El Maria from Shadal Kaya Club, where they are sending the love and uh, wish me good luck. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much. This was really fun. Okay, we have a problem. The tent has broken. I think this part here is to fix it. Uh, I'm just gonna get some some uh, gorilla tape, tape it around. Hopefully that will help. I hope this will be an uncomfortable night. It is fixed for now, but. I need to exchange that one. So let's see if it is possible to get a new one. I don't want to give Trondelag a bad rumor, but uh, my tent broke again in Trondelag and it's really, really wet. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh. Oh, no point in going out yet. Hopefully, it will calm down. Until then, let's chillax. It's just getting worse and worse. No winds. Some openings in the clouds. Really low tide though, so I have to carry the kayak down. But it will be fine, I think. It will be fine. Let's get going. And we are on our way again. So I have managed uh, to get an uh, extra set 
for uh, the tent. The tent could be Rörvik in a couple of days. So I just have to make it where I have it till then.
a little lower tide than I was hoping for and now it was gonna start. I was hoping to wake up way earlier, but we came in such a late yesterday, so this is what we got. So I can either wait for some hours for it to come back in, or I will have to do some carrying. Okay, so we have emptied out the kayak for most of the things to carry it most of the way out there where we will fill it up again and get kayaking. It's gonna be good. Ten past twelve just at low tide. It's turning now. Magnificent place. Absolutely. Just gonna have my apple. Pack is secure. It's secure that it has ever been. And we are going to have a look at the lighthouse and have a little lunch. Nugaski, chocolate, bread.
Things are getting a little messy now. So that's changing to wind from the west. Ten o'clock. The tide is going up. And yeah, I'm right at the area where I had my second breakdown the last time. Do you hear that bird? So, if you hear this bird, you have to be careful. Especially if you are around the beach. Brownish. Yesterday I almost stepped at the eggs. These are the eggs. It's really hard to see in the sand, so just be careful when you're around here. See if you can see the expecting mother. It's really small, really fast, and brownish. So yeah, be careful. Don't make an omelette when you don't have to. <laughs> Say hello to my buddy Hermit Crab. Apple before we start and turn on equipment. We are at day 50 and it's 11.20 and I got a little distracted when I tried to tell you things with bird earlier but so we are just at the halfway point. I'm gonna pass Albertsvær today and uh, this was the hardest part the last time and it's probably one of the hardest parts this time from uh, Bud to here. Uh, not the same problems as last time. Some of the equipment has been failing uh, at this uh, stretch also, but not as bad as the last time. Uh, 
So I'm just looking forward to getting to Rødvik, uh, get some uh, repairment for the tent. And uh, uh, also I have uh, ordered a solar cell panel. So I will see if that works along the way. So I don't have to stop and charge that much. Let's get going. Fish farm, fish farm, fish farm, fish farm everywhere. Another seagull versus uh, eagle. And another fishery. Noisy. They are getting fed now. And we are almost at today's goal. Just open that. And then hopefully both my packages has arrived tomorrow morning. And we are right side of an island before Rörvik where we are gonna chillax until I get the message that my package has arrived at the post office and then I'm gonna have to go and pick up the package and then we have all we need to fix the tent. And then hopefully Unlimited power! <laughs> and this somewhere will be today's camp. Straight ahead. Looks good. Looks good. 23.3 nautical miles. So today we're going to have the mussels, they are nice and clean. Uh, I also have some charlton and some ginger. We have a uh, vertral that I'm going to steam it in, a little tomato puree and a little bit of honey. Also virgin, extra virgin olive oil. So let's start cooking. Just let that 
warm it up until it gets a nice glaze on the onions. Then a dash of tomato puree. I would normally use a little garlic, a little coriander, or a little other fresh things. But since we are not at home in the kitchen, we do what we do what we have. Here. After a couple of minutes, it looks good, it smells good. Slip out all of the juices. The bread that starts to get dry. Bon appetit! It's a ram. Cold. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, it's um, seven-ish in the morning, and uh, I'm having a headache. Let's see how it looks outside. Say hello to outside. Hello outside. It looks like it's gonna be a good day. Not too much wind. I'm just okay. I just gotta sleep a little longer. That's probably it. See you later. We have visitors. They have spotted me. Bat. Bat. Oh. I'm gonna leave them alone, let them eat in peace while I clean my tent out. Okay, we are off to a little late start today. Uh, I had a headache and uh, not enough energy. But as the day it became warmer and warmer, I felt better and better. And now we are heading into Rörvik to get the supplies and also some extra food because it's going to be closed until Tuesday.
Looks like the mackerel is here. Ah, it's a fish jumping around. But right now, I have just shopped for food. So I need to eat that first. And then I am happy to go for the mackerel. Mosquitoes, not welcome. So you don't really seem too happy about me being here. And I am not gonna fall asleep in this noise. Okay guys, you win! That is uh, Hurtrustad ship uh, Vestrollen, heading north. Just as the sun goes down, behind us. And today, as the sun goes down behind me, I have Telsinger. Uh, Tent pools, pool tents, something. I have them. Yes. And today's dinner is livlaga from Hof. Take a put the pan Oh, I have to put it on. Ooh, spoon, spoon, spoon. Where is spoon? Where is spoon? There you are. And then a dash of petrol. It has a good flavor and helps so it doesn't burn.
Well, you have seen this before. I just warmed it up. I don't have any eggs today. So I'm just gonna eat it straight from it. No extras. Just one last look before we go to sleep. Morning. Mm. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Uh. I am planning to sleep a little longer. No need to hurry today. Uh, I want to reach Lake uh, when the uh, sun is starting to be on its way down because then it does something to the colors of the mountains. I'll show you. Okay, camp is on its way down. And after a lot of recommendations from people, uh, I decided to go solar and it actually works, but it is really big. Uh, so I have to decide what to do with it. Send it back, use it. It is nice to not have to stop and charge everywhere. It saves me a lot of time. A lot of times when I have done the charging, uh, the good weather has gone away. It's been re uh, been much harder. Good morning, everyone. We are at day 52, and uh, just finished my interview with uh, Deep Blue Ocean. We'll have a look at that. I'll add a link. And today we are heading to a large island in front of us there. Take up. Where I'm planning to camp today.
then over there we have Emmet Polali from Hutteruta on his route with cargo and some passengers. That is north side of Leka. Good morning everyone, we have had a windy night morning Blowing around 60 to 20 meters a second it Says it's coming from the southeast, but here it comes straight from the east Beautiful, beautiful Eka And it's 2.30 at a I think. And we are leaving Leka. Hello, thank Hello. you for ha your hospitality. Welcome back. Thank you. An absolutely beautiful day in Kayak. You see, they're far, far away. I have now done five nautical miles, so I'm a quarter of the way.
I'll moan and coming in With the moon and smooth wind You know riding up those hills Oh finish cheers I beg you Come home again Won't you be my guest this moment Let's clean up this mess I've been riders in the night Coming in and shining bright Call for them out of sight And I'm riding in On this beam of light Patience, my dear, is all it takes Breathing this air of this space it's been said that it's there for forgotten souls Riding home, once and for all Diamonds and pearls are your name As I feel the nature of your game We're coming home again Sure it won't be the same, sweet angel My angel of faith won't you be my guest this moment? Let's clean up this nest. Life be brighter than night. Coming in and shining bright. Salmon and face away in a new shape to stay. Midnight choirs compiling by the light of this new and glorious sight. In our hearts, round once again to be welcomed in the sand. Let's clean up this riot of our forgiven souls and welcome. Well, the riders are home. Won't you be my guest this moment? Let's clean up this mess. Like be riders in the night, coming in and shining bright.